Hi guys, Evan from Team Paranormal Australia here. Just wanted to show you guys what program we use and uh, how we clean up our EVP so that you can do it yourself. Now, as you can see, what you've got in front of you here is Audacity. Uh, now, I know a lot of people use this one and it is a really good tool as well as it being free, which makes it even better. Um, it works across the board on all different platforms, Windows, Mac and Linux as well. Um, I have at least one of each system, so it's good to have on all of the computers in case I uh, uh, need it for any reason. Um, and the web address for that one is just audacity.sourceforge.net slash download and that'll bring you to the page that you need to get it from. So I'll just get rid of that one and uh, this is the program itself. Uh, I'm using Mac currently. Uh, all the fundamentals are pretty much the same though. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to import first. It's very simple. Uh, what I have here is some video actually, which you can just import the videos that you need. Um, I'm just going to randomly grab one here, we'll say this one, or no this one, yeah that one, grab that one. So just drag over and drop, and that should just import, now I'll just move this out of the way, and there we go. So you can actually get the uh, audio from your video, not just audio files. Alternatively, if you click on File and Open, Okay, and that will just bring up this dialogue here, which, you know, you can go through and search what you want and find out the ones you want. So I'm just going to close this one because I've actually got one open already. And now that we have our clip up here, what we want to do is select the section that we think the EVP is in. Now, mine should be in around here somewhere. So I'm just going to select that and go copy, select down the below and paste and that will paste in that short section there. Okay. Now that I've pasted it down there, what we need to do is mute this top one because otherwise we will hear that over the top of our current one. Now if I just play this one quickly, you'll hear that it is very quiet. So it's going to be very difficult to hear what it is that we're after. Now what we need to do at this point is make sure that we have this selected, go up to Effects and Amplify. Now it automatically suggests the highest amplification that you can possibly do without it distorting. I would drop that back just a little bit just to make sure that it's not going to, just on the off chance. Hit OK and as you can see it's much much louder now. The problem we have now though is that even though it's much louder there's a lot more background noise. In Okay, so now that we've amplified it, we need to get rid of some of that noise. So what you want to do is select a small portion that plays the noise and that you know doesn't have the EVP on it that you're trying to listen to. So what we need to do then is hit Effect. We find Noise Removal and it brings up this menu here. Now the thing you've got to be careful with is if you overuse the Noise Removal function, you will lose the EVP and you'll lose the quality. So what we need to do first is we've selected this small area, we get noise profile, play that. So now that it's got that little bit of noise, it will know what to cancel out. So what we do is we select it all, we hit effect, go back into noise removal, and now we've got all these options we can play with. And you can hit preview, which is a really good function because it allows you to find out how it's going to sound before you actually uh, remove the noise so you're not going and undoing constantly. So we'll hit preview. Now I think that removes a fairly significant amount without decreasing the quality of the audio at the moment. So we'll just go ahead and click OK. That'll apply it to it. And you'll see this change again. There we are, and we'll just hit play again. And there we go, you can hear it just in here. And me asking what that was. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is pause that. I'm just going to remove this large section at the end here, because I know that doesn't have anything in it, which means I can now amplify this one again. So I'll go back into Amplify. Probably again, I don't want to do it the full amount that it suggests, so I'm just going to take that down to about 18. And as you'll see, it makes it much louder. So let's play that one again. It 
Now that's a very interesting EVP, but what I'm going to do is select this first section that doesn't have it again. I'm going to go back into effects and I'm going to hit noise removal, get noise profile, and now we have the noise profile again. So if I select this entire clip again, go back into effect, noise removal, and we'll preview that. Now, I think that might be taking a little bit too much of the noise out and, and affecting the quality. So I'm just going to drop back the noise reduction a little bit and try that one again. I think that one sounds a little bit better, so we'll play that one once it applies it. And there we have it. So what I've got here is, I'm, I'm sure it sounds like a female screaming. Uh, I heard that on the night with along with two other investigators. And then you've obviously got me asking, what was that? So it was definitely an audi audible audio clip. Now, just before we go, I'm just going to mute this one and minimize it, just so you can see these two here, which I've maximized. These are done in the same way, but using slightly different uh, variations on the noise removal. This one I've gone overboard with and used the uh, clipping function, which, which excuse me, used the clipping function, which means um, when I have boosted the decibel, amplified it, the clipping, uh, I've just said allow clipping, which means I can boost it higher than it's supposed to go. So it starts to actually clip off the high ends and low ends of the, the audio. And if you have a listen, it's not as good as quality, but it is a lot louder. Now, although that is a lot louder, there is a lot of noise. Now, in this one, I've removed that noise after the clipping, and I'll just show you. And again, you can hear it, but there's still a lot of noise. So this last one that I've just done with you guys actually sounds a lot better and clearer. The only problem I have with this one is I may have overdone it with the noise removal because there is a bit of a hiss just before it happens. So I will have to take it back a little bit and have a play around with it. But that's the fundamentals of EVP, noise removal. Um, just remember not to go overboard because it can ruin the EVP. And I know there are quite a few paranormal investigators that don't like to use this method because it, it can do too much damage to the audio. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, rate, subscribe, stick around, and uh, we'll get some more investigation material to you shortly. So what you want, what you, what you want.